Hello and welcome to the further maths videos for OCR Pure Core. This is Vectors for Equations of Planes and this is video 4.3, the equation of a plane in Cartesian form. Okay, so uh, we've seen before that we can write the equations of planes by give a given point and a normal vector and we get this equation here, r dot n equals p. Now if we look at this, this is r, a general point on the plane, and this is n, the normal vector. And if we actually carry out this dot product, we can see that we get x n1 plus y n2 plus z n3 equals p. And this is another way that we can write the equation of a plane. And this is in Cartesian form. So generally, we write it as ax plus by plus cz equals p, as you can see, very similar to this, where a, b, and c are the components of the normal vector. Or we write it like this, n1x plus n2y plus n3z plus d equals 0. This is the way it will t uh, come up in your formula booklet. So in these equations, a, b, c, or n1, n2, n3, give us the vector that is normal to the plane. All planes that have the same normal vector are parallel to each other. And this p, or d as it's written here, gives us the location of that plane. Okay, so we're going to have a look at an example now. We're going to find the Cartesian form of a plane containing point 1, 2, 0, and perpendicular to 2i plus 5j plus 3k. So from this, if it's perpendicular to this, we can write down straight away that the normal vector is 2, 5, 3, and that a point on the plane is 1, 2, zero. So if we now do a dot n, we would have 1, 2, 0, dotted with 2, 5, 3, which gives us 12, as we've seen in previous videos. So we can now write the equation of the plane in Cartesian form using this normal vector and this position, this uh, value that gives us our point in space. So we write it as 2x plus 5y plus 3z equals 12. That's the Cartesian equation of our plane. Okay, so now we're going to have a little summary of the equations of planes that we've looked at so far. So we can write the vector equation of a plane in parametric form, with this being a position vector, and these vectors here, b and c, being direction vectors, lambda and mu are scalars. We can also write the vector equation of a plane using the normal. So we do r dot n equals a dot n, or a rearrangement, r dot n equals p, where p is the dot product of a dot n. And now we've seen that we can write the Cartesian equation of a plane where we've got ax plus by plus cz equals p or written here very similarly. Remember that a, b, c gives us the normal vector to the plane or n1, n2, n3 also gives us the normal vector to the plane. In um, both of these forms, as I've just said, the coefficients of x, y, and z give a normal vector to the plane. So now I'm going to have uh, leave these here for you to have a little bit of a uh, think about. We've got some equations of six planes, all written in different forms. What you need to think about is which ones are parallel planes. Remember, if they have the same normal vector, then those planes are parallel. And which ones are the same plane? So in order to be the same plane, they have to be both parallel 
and the point that tells us where they are needs to be the same. What I suggest you do is pause the video, have a look at these, try and work them out and convince yourself which ones are parallel, which ones are the same, and then if you can, which ones are perpendicular. So, uh, thanks for watching, and the next video in this series will be 4.4, the angle between two planes.